Right now, a lot of people are acting like Samsung has magically solved the biggest problem with foldable phones and that the Galaxy Z Fold 8 is guaranteed to ship with a completely flat, perfectly seamless inner display. The trigger? A quiet Samsung display demo at CES 2026. But the truth is far more complicated, and if you blindly trust these, Galaxy Z Fold 8 crease-free leaks, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Let's talk about what was actually shown what. It really means and why you shouldn't let a trade show panel demo decide whether you buy the next Samsung foldable or wait for Apple's rumored iPhone fold because no visible crease on the stage is very different from no crease. In your pocket after two years of daily use stop first, what actually happened at CES 2026? Samsung Display showed off a new foldable old panel that, on camera and at certain angles, appeared to have no visible crease down the middle. This is a big deal in the context of Display Tech DMOS. Until now, every foldable from the original. Galaxy Fold to the Galaxy Z Fold 7, Pixel 10 Pro Fold, Huawei's latest, and all the clamshells has had a noticeable crease where the screen bends dot. So as soon as Samsung Display called this its first foldable panel with no visible crease, the internet did the rest. Galaxy Z Fold 8 confirmed creaseless. Samsung finally kills the foldable crease. Major leak? Fold 8 inner screen will be flat. Here's the problem. None of that has actually been confirmed. Samsung display didn't say this is the Galaxy Z Fold 8 panel. Samsung Electronics didn't say the Fold 8 will ship with this exact display. And nobody showed you what happens to that creaseless panel after tens of thousands of real world folds in a full device with glass. Adhesives, a hinge, and a protective layer on top. Dot what you saw was a display technology concept, not a finished Galaxy Z Fold 8. Let's talk about the crease. And why it's not as simple as swapping one material. Dot every foldable crease you've ever seen is the result of a stack of layers bending thousands of times. The old panel itself, the polarizer layers or polarizer free alternatives, the cover film or ultra thin glass layer, the optical clear adhesive, OCA, that bonds everything together. The top protective layer you actually touch Samsung display. As new approach reportedly focuses on that OCA layer. By using a more malleable, flexible adhesive, they can reduce the stress that builds up where the panel folds. Less stress means less deformation. Less deformation means a less visible crease. On paper, this sounds brilliant. Change the adhesive. Solve the crease. Problem over. Galaxy Z Fold 8. Crease less dot, but in real life, it's not that simple. If the OCA is too soft, you might get long-term warping as the panel settles over time, increased risk of bubbles or detachment, under heat or pressure, changes in how the glass or cover film behaves when dropped or pressed, potential durability trade-offs in exchange for better looks on a show floor, under perfect lighting, on a demo panel with no frame, no hinge stress, and no real world. Torture testing. You can make almost anything look good dot in your hand. After a year of folding and unfolding dozens of times a day, that's when we find out whether no visible crease was a genuine solution or just a very good first impression dot now. About the Galaxy Z Fold 8 creaseless display headline right now. The narrative is Samsung Display showed a creaseless panel at CES 2026 gives therefore Galaxy Z Fold 8 will have a creaseless inner display gives. Therefore, this is the biggest upgrade ever for the Fold series. Each step in that chain is an assumption. Samsung Display makes screens for many companies, not just Samsung Electronics. A demo panel doesn't always ship in the very next consumer product. Sometimes it takes years. Even if the core tech is ready, Samsung may choose a safer, slightly less aggressive version for a mass market device to avoid durability issues, returns, or bad PR. On top of that, there's a huge detail people are glossing over. Reports say this same creaseless display technology is also being developed for Apple's future foldable often called the iPhone Fold. In rumors dot, 
And here's where it gets even muddier. Some sources claim Apple has restricted Samsung Display from showing off panels intended for Apple devices. That means what Samsung showed at CE, S might actually be a generic version of the panel tech, not the exact implementation destined for a Galaxy Z Fold 8 or an iPhone Fold Dot, in other words. You have a demo panel, a hint that the tech is mature enough for mass production, confidential partnerships in the background, zero official word from Samsung Electronics or Apple on product integration, but the leaks are talking as if the Galaxy Z Fold 8 specs are locked. The crease is gone forever, and we're entering a new era of perfect foldables. That's not how this works. Foldables have improved a lot, but there's still about trade-offs. Look at where we are today. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 is thinner, lighter, and more refined than the original Fold the Pixel 10 Pro. Fold has pushed design and software integration even further. Huawei and others are already teasing tri-fold prototypes that expand like a tablet and beyond. And yet, one thing has remained consistent. The crease is still there, dot. Yes, some companies have made it shallower. Some have tuned the hinge to distribute. Stress differently. Some have changed the radius of the fold, so the panel doesn't bend as sharply. But no one has truly erased the crease under real-world conditions, dot. The crease isn't just a cosmetic flaw. It's a physical reminder that you're bending a stack of materials in a way. Screens were never originally designed to bend dot. Can Samsung significantly reduce the crease on the Galaxy Z Fold 8? Absolutely possible dot. Can they make it almost invisible from certain angles? Very likely dot. Can they make it truly, completely creaseless in every scenario forever for every user? That's a much harder promise dot marketing language like no visible. Crease is slippery. It might mean under ideal lighting at arm's length when the screen is on, most people won't notice it. Not. There is zero physical deformation across the fold, even when the screen is off and you're inspecting it up close. So when you see Galaxy Z Fold 8 crease free display leak, Samsung kills the crease with Fold 8. Remember, that's the hype version. The reality will probably be the crease is much less noticeable but it's still there if you look for it. Now, let's talk timing. Will this panel really debut on the Galaxy Z Fold 8? Leaks say Samsung. Electronics will finalize its display plans later this quarter, which lines up with the usual Galaxy Z Fold 8 release window. That sounds reasonable. Samsung likes to show off components a bit early, then ship products months later, but there are a few things the leak doesn't emphasize. Finalizing display plans doesn't mean only one panel option exists. Samsung may be evaluating multiple versions of this new creaseless style tech, plus more conservative, known good panels. Yield rates matter. If the new OCA base design is expensive, hard to manufacture at scale, or has low yields, Samsung might decide to limit it to ultra premium models or delay it to the Galaxy Z Fold 9 when processes improve, durability testing can derail everything. If internal testing shows long-term issues like micro cracks, delamination, or brightness uniformity problems, Samsung might scale back the creaseless implementation to avoid another first-gen Galaxy Fold situation. Also, there's the Apple angle. If similar technology is truly destined for Apple's future foldable, as reports claim, Samsung has to navigate. Contractual obligations, NDAs feature timing and exclusivity. It is completely possible that Apple gets one version. Of the panel first, Samsung keeps a slightly different version for its own foldables. Or both companies ship with visible but reduce creases while the tech matures. What's not guaranteed is this simple narrative. Samsung showed it at CES. So Galaxy Z Fold 8 will 100% have a perfect creaseless screen. So what does this actually mean for you if you're thinking about buying a foldable? Here's the honest breakdown. Yes, foldable display technology is improving. Yes, Samsung displays work with malleable OCA and crease reduction is real progress. Yes. The Galaxy Z Fold 8 is likely to be better than the Fold 7 
in terms of both visuals and durability, but no, we do not have confirmation that the Galaxy Z Fold 8 will be completely creaseless. No, ACES demo does not guarantee the final retail device will look the same in every die use, no. You should not base your upgrade decision solely on a single leak or marketing phrase like no visible crease. If you're happy with your current foldable, don't let this hype force you into waiting indefinitely for the creaseless fold. If you're ready to jump into foldables now, know that every generation is going to get a little better, but there will always be something even better. Rumored for next year dot, and if you're the kind of person eyeing Apple's future iPhone Fold instead of the Galaxy Z Fold 8, remember, Apple is likely dealing with the exact same physics, the exact same crease issue, and probably the exact same Samsung display tech behind the scenes.